Hey folks, this is Bino. In case you missed what I was trying to show you before, you can really see it on the... And I was able to pick up the fourth here, the freshest video that we got. And I'm playing it from a distance. And you'll also see some... Because uh, when they draw it down like that, they're hiding something that comes into... Uh, something comes into view. Like when you see planets pop into view on when you're looking directly at the sun on some of the shots that they have from Soho. They're blocking something from us that's coming in from Neptune. Now, more than likely, what they are blocking is exactly the meatball that I was telling you about. So basically, we're going to look at this archive here, which you can still see the meatball. And then I'll blow this up right away because you can see right now, before I blow it up, that I'm not hiding anything from you by blowing it up. And basically, when you look at core one, I mean, at two and three, you'll see that basically this is the image that I'm telling you that there's an alignment of some planets that they don't ever tell us about. Okay, they're real tight and they're bright looking when you look at it. Because, I mean, there's light that's emanated off the sun that's behind the blocker here, which is the solar panel of the satellite. Okay, so basically, they were blocking something that either Venus did or... And I'm just not sure. I think it's got to be something that's going to be close to Neptune and Venus, and they just don't want us to, to know or see about it when you, see it when you think about it, all right? So I'll see what they got going on on Soho and everything too. But we'll, we'll pump into this here and we'll blow this up. And let me save some video time here. Hang on. So this is basically the freshest we've got of the meatball here, okay? And it stays constant. I mean, it's floating along just like Venus. And you pretty much know that there's no flipping way in hell that this can be any kind of a mirror. Because basically you'll see, you just watch the whole circular... There's no way something is going to mirror like that out in space. Even though we know Venus is held it up like that, there's no way it's going to put a shadow off in space that humongous, okay? You can already pretty much see this, the darkness here, of where Venus and Uranus are back there. Because what's going on is Venus is blocking the light that will enter the Uranus, Neptune, and Pluto area, okay? You see that dark hole there? It's not a black hole, ladies and gentlemen, okay? Because when back in the past, you can go to certain things and discover, go in there looking at the suns behind Uranus, Neptune, and so forth, because there was a certain position that was just right a while back that a, I'm not, I even believe, I don't, I don't know if it was, actually, I think it was one of the satellite uh, scopes was able to see it and I don't believe that it was uh, I do not believe that it was and yes ladies and gentlemen but this is vast amounts of space between Uranus and Venus and then you go and look up the sizes of Venus and Uranus and you'll understand that Uranus is not even bigger than Jupiter okay so there's the deep black back door of Earth right here because see all the sunlight of the Sun and the supergiants is flowing from the left like I tell you, it's an actual factual. And then this is our meatball that we have seen move in and out from this side of the sun, okay? Which would I would call the north side of the sun because when we're looking at Earth, we rotate to the east, but it's still the north side of Earth here that basically this object is north of the sun and of Earth and Venus and Uranus and everything in stereo play out there in space, okay? So you can't miss the... Flipping meatball, it's right there in front of your face, and I've only got it blown up to I think to like 400. Okay, and then the sun and the super giants is being blocked right here. And I made a mistake, uh, I didn't have anybody correct me, but it is more than likely this would more than likely be Mercury right here. Okay, the closest thing right now to the sun that's more than likely the magnetic line of it, and more than likely that probably is actually even Mercury right there from a far distance away. That little brightness right at the top of the solar panel. That's more than likely Mercury right there. But it still shows its magneticism going down, just like Earth shows its magneticism of pole and all the other planets. But see how ours is fluctuating right now as we are catching back up to the sun. Because we are in the fall solstice, so it brings our magneticism, our magnetic line in space, our hair line. Okay, static electricity, scratch a cat. You see what we're saying, ladies and gentlemen? And that's somewhat of what the scientists are worried about. Now, I'm going to make a whole other video about basically what they call the black hole. Okay, but it ends up being a actual object in space. Okay, so now it, maybe it's doing what everybody's always said, the black hole. And what I'm keeping on saying 
is I really believe uh, Einstein and just about anybody that's had this theory that there's a black hole in space, and even when you listen to Bino, just a blue-collar piece of poop telling you this straight-out actual fact, that I really do not believe that there is anything that is a black hole. Now, you, everybody has been in construction or went by on something on the freeway before, and they've seen uh, basically, thanks, huh? they've seen a concrete grinder. They will grind up the concrete or the asphalt that's there and mix it in with the new concrete and use it instead of moving it all away. It saves a ton of fuel and labor and everything like that, and then they re-aggregate it into the... And that's what we have naturally out there in space. If anything is going to ever be called a black hole, it's not a black hole. It is something that we are still, and all the scientists are studying and trying to figure out what the hell is a meat grinder out there. Yes, Bino's been an ex-butcher and a meat cutter, ladies and gentlemen. There's something out there, and there's a lot more of them, and they're like a supernova, they call them. And it's, Okay, what's the difference between a supernova and a black hole? The scientists are really a bunch of bullshit giving us this crap because the idea that you're going to see an image on the next video that I'm going to do, it's going to be about it, and it's going to also be where I put in, what I put in, and you're going to see it, okay? And we're going to show you how far away, which is actually kind of close to Earth right now, okay? And it's not the meatball, ladies and gentlemen. This meatball is the biggest goddamn mass that we've ever found out in space that we know of so far, okay? Okay, and basically I kind of call it mass... 45 to 55 because basically there is way more than just that mass. Now, I'm going to bring you back to this video here. We're going to go back to JavaScript and this one here, and we're going to blow this up. But after you watch it at the regular normal size that you first bring it up on the screen, you will see the static that's coming from out, way out, the super giants, or what is possibly bigger out, which space is infinite. I, I pretty much take it, okay? I really do believe that space is infinite, okay? Uh, it's a theory. And it's the idea that it's a theory and it's an actual fact that will never be disproved because mankind is never going to find out how big space is, okay? These are vast distances we're shooting at here, and we look like we're just shooting in a little bit of a shoebox in a closet somewhere, ladies and gentlemen, okay? And you're looking at Neptune and the sun and the supergiants shooting the shit off. And as you see those big old lightning bursts coming across the space, it is. It's static electricity and it's static CME from suns that are in the supergiants way the flip out that are 74 times the size of the sun okay so just realize if this is just the sun right here it's the idea that all that static that you're seeing coming in is coming in from yes something that's 74 times the size of the sun okay and we are in a very rare play in stereo play in space which is infinite Beano black will say space is infinite till the day i die you will not find a corner of space okay Einstein and a few theorists have a little bit of theory of relativity and all this shit like that a little bit wrong, okay? Just a little bit. They weren't wrong on much. But there's some theories that are going to be disproved over years, and they'll be dead and gone when they finally prove that what I'm saying is actually true. But space is infinite, ladies and gentlemen. You're never going to find the ends of space. Now, we're going to blow this up, and I'll do it real fast in front of you so that you know that I'm not screwing with you because you've seen all that static play. Now, here you go. We're at 400, okay? And we're looking in at Neptune, and you're going to see a little bit of the blackness that's out there behind Neptune and so forth and so on because you can see with all this CME action, look at that big old CME come by, and then look at the darkness of space at the back door of Earth in which I will flop over real fast and go to the other one and realize, remember, see this black darkness that's way the hell out there? It's not a black hole. This up here behind the sun is not a black hole. Space is infinite. It is humongous. They don't want you to be freaking out that the makes it... Because what it does, ladies and gentlemen, I will stuff a Martian any day of the week, at least one of them, because we need an example, okay? And there's not. I don't believe in UFOs. I have don't believe in a Martian or any damn thing, okay? The actual factual is when you start believing and understanding that space is infinite in size, who the hell could ever say with betting their life that the idea that there's not something out there somewhere because it's too goddamn large and realize how small Earth is and how we are hiding out in a flipping little rabbit hole and this big old meat mall exists and a lot of other big ass shit exists out there. There is supposed to be some huge mass that they know that 774 times the size, and I might even be wrong, it might be 770, seven, uh, 
747, 700, yeah, 747 times the size of, I believe it is the sun. And if not, it's Jupiter, okay? But I believe it's the sun. And it's just a huge mass that's out there. And they know it's out there. They've seen it. But this is the meatball. This is what, when they get off the space cowboys thing, is they stay straight out. That's what we don't ever talk about. Because this thing is hell of freaking almost half an infinite. And infinite is forever, ladies and gentlemen, okay? But for half the infinite ofness of something out there in space, this is the other side, ladies and gentlemen. You're not going to go to the other side. When you're dead, you're going to be just like Venus if it got hit by a freaking this big-ass meatball at light speed, okay? You're going to be dead on the door now. Your light bulb is going to go dead. You're going to be gone, okay? It's that simple. Don't going to get in a fight with religious people. There is no... Space is infinite, okay? Space is infinite, okay? And the meatball is right there in front of your eyeballs, okay? And look at all that static electricity. Just back up the video to what I was showing you of all that static electrical that's coming by from more than likely the supergiants because there are stars out there that are 74 flipping times the size of the sun, okay? And a lot of this stuff, when you're looking at it, not even a pixel on here is the size of the Earth, okay? Now, when we have you over at Sechi, at the one shot, you are going to see the actual size of Earth, okay? Now, I'm going to take you over to that Sechi shot there. We should be able to get back to this one. Come on, baby. What happened to you? Now, i got to load you back up. Hang on. Now, you can go ahead and go search. I'm not going to even misquote right now. I know I'm wasting time and looking it up and everything like that. But remember how far out that they can shoot from, okay? This Soho satellite is hella distance away from B, Okay, and this is A. And this is what I was showing you with the meatball. And you can't miss it. And we'll go up and then we'll slide over and look at Earth, okay? And that's actually pretty much when you're... I mean, it's actual factual. This is actual, basically, electrical data comes back and forth. And then we get a, a basically, a fax, ladies and gentlemen. This this is all facts, which is basically a fact. A thousand percent infinite factual with the idea that there's your size of Earth. And actually, Earth looks a lot bigger here on this shot. Because the idea of the illumination from the sun and the supergiants makes it look huge. And what's, what you hear is you realize it's the good thing that our North Pole doesn't wiggle like our South Pole. Because there is the North Pole of Earth that's got a very good magnetic. You see what I'm saying? Look how strong it is way the hell up. Now one of these days, where the hell do we find these magnetics at that's holding everything? Uranus, Venus, Jupiter, uh, Saturn, Mars, and everything intact. Because basically there's got to be a connection somewhere ladies and gentlemen, of the hair strands of what you're seeing of the actual magneticism of Venus, Uranus, Earth, every planet that I ever show you up here on this set you because those are the actual magnetics of each planet, okay? And yes, right now, our South Pole is a little bit naughty, okay? That's what a lot of scientists are getting hushed up about the idea of the actual factual. Could we actually break away from the sun, okay? Let's pray the flip knot, okay? And I don't, I'm not worried about it because look at that massive, strong, electrical, magnetical that we have on the North Pole all the time. And we always know how solid we see the North Pole axis, okay? So as long as we don't ever vibrate, and we always go through head first, so basically that's a good, strong connection because, see, we're always following whatever that magnetism is up there. And it seems to always stereo play around the sun right here to your left. So a lot of the actual factual is coming through your brain and not listening to the propaganda bullshit that a lot of times... Einstein and all the theorists that had theories along with him about space and shit like that were not a thousand percent correct. I love them. They were brainiacs. And the idea of the actual factual is 99.9% .9 of the theories are right. Space is infinite and there's probably not no fucking black holes. And I will show it in my next video. Okay. And in the future, yes, as soon as the government decides to show the moon's latest little escapade of those two satellites... We will make sure that they tell you the truth, ladies and gentlemen. Beano Black ain't going anywhere, ladies and gentlemen. And I love every human being on the every branch of the United States Military Service. I'll tell you that right now. And I am just nobody, okay? Just you can see this stuff in actual factual for yourself, and it doesn't take you too hard to figure your brain out on it, okay? And there's the meatball, ladies and gentlemen. It's right there, and it's way the hell out there, okay? But it is back towards Venus, and your, I mean back towards Uranus, and Neptune, and Pluto. Okay, and we also know there's some stars way out behind Uranus, Neptune, and Pluto. Okay, they found them with some satellites a long time ago. Okay, satellite telescopes a long time ago they found it. Okay, there's pictures of them. You can even go to the Worldwide Telescope. I think they have them in there. Okay, so this is this video. 
the next video I get around to whether I have it time to tonight, I'm going to show you what matches to be the same thing that what they're calling a black hole. There is no flipping black holes, okay? There's